Well, before we go over all of the matches in this tournament, I do want to say one thing about the tournament. And that is, when it was over, I was very, very torn about what I had just seen. Because, you know, as a match, if you take all seven matches in this little mini tournament, and you just watch the thing from start to finish, I would say that this was a four and a half star match. I thought this match was was awesome, you know, by the time they got to the finish there. With that said, they explained that this was a tournament for the X Division title. It was a double elimination tournament, which means everybody had to be beaten twice, and the guy that didn't get beaten twice ended up becoming the champion in the end. I didn't like and, that. And uh, and what we had was a two-minute match, a two-minute yes. match, a 20-second match, a two-minute match, a three-minute match, a two-minute match, and then the finale was eight minutes and 33 seconds. Now, if you watch it from start to finish as, like, one match, mm-hmm. it's fucking great. Yep. But to me, you are trying to sell weekly pay-per-views. You are trying to give people a, an incentive to watch this show every single week for $9.99 or whatever. Which, when you think about charging $9.99 in 2002, I mean, they were asking, like, what, maybe 20 bucks nowadays, $15.99, $16.99, whatever. But, you know, to me, it's like you could have taken all seven of these matches and stretched this tournament out over seven weeks, Mm -hmm. given everybody, you know, 12, 15, 17 minutes per match. And I think that you would have sold seven weeks worth of pay-per-views because every single one of these matches you know at 14 minutes 16 minutes or whatever would have been fucking awesome and you could have had the stats on the screen and man low keys lost once but aj's lost he hasn't lost at all so blah 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 blah. i mean they had a story here and i just felt like what a waste to condense all of this into one like 25 minute segment and and crown a champion. You you could have gotten so many weeks out of this. And I mean, as a fan, if you would have started with what was the first match that they did in this tournament? It was uh, Sakosis and AJ. Yeah, those two guys go out there and just do a fourteen minute Sakosis AJ Styles match, and then go that's that's match one. You know, we could have as many as seven more or whatever. I mean, dude, I'd be all ready. And uh, they didn't do that, so I was I was disappointed in that sense. But you know, as far as a match, a one night you know, weird, weird ass tournament thing they did. I thought it was awesome. It didn't make, it didn't make a lot of sense because everything started immediately. So it felt like one long match. And then when you had to get beaten twice at the end, spoiler alert, the the guy that wins in the end beats the guy twice in a row. Yes. And if you're looking at and they it, actually, they actually spoiled it because I mean, we yes. are going to spoil it here, but the second to last match was AJ versus Jerry Lynn. And AJ had been pinned once, and Jerry Lynn had not been pinned at all, okay? Correct. So either AJ was going to uh, pin him and then have to beat him again to win, or Jerry Lynn was just going to beat him and the thing would be over. But what they did was they said, for the final match, Ricky Steamboat is going to be the referee. So in theory, because AJ had been uh, beaten once and Jerry Lynn hadn't been beaten at all, that could have been the final match, mm-hmm. but they did not put Ricky Steamboat in the ring. So you knew, well, you know, they're going to do this and then whatever. It didn't matter, but I mean, I, I, I liked, I, you know, I liked the booking for a one night tournament, but it was like so many of these matches. I mean, for fuck's sake, you know, AJ versus Loki, two fucking minutes. Uh, Jerry Lynn and Sakosis, two minutes. Jerry Lynn and Loki, three minutes. It's like, dude, give me these fucking matches. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I know. I I'm more on Brian's side. I thought the first half of this was fun, but completely forgettable. It was like it's just like oh, there's a cool move. There's a cool move. There's a pin. There's a cool move. There's a cool move. There's a pin. There's a cool move. There's a pin. There's a cool move. There's a cool... okay. Great. And then once it got down to AJ versus Jerry Lynn having to beat him twice in a row and, and kind of frantically trying to get that first pin, that part was awesome. The, the second half of this was, was was outstanding, outstanding stuff. Um, <laughs> there's a, a bunch of things the the basic idea is one of those things where i kind of can't believe no one's ever tried this again in the next 20 some years if, if you got four or five hours of tv to fill every week a wacky and they call it round robin which is not true but it was it was, it was a gauntlet match a double elimination gauntlet match is what it was but you know no, no one's ever tried anything like this again i don't know why it's something like it was bad 
Well, I mean, they haven't tried this, but I mean, we had a gauntlet match on Raw, and you know, they did not do two minute matches. They they had each match go like twelve to fourteen minutes, and the entire gauntlet went an hour and twenty five minutes or something like that. Yeah. And that thing did a gigantic rating. And so then, you know, they wanted to do it every week, and then it stopped working. But, you know, they if they would have started this match at the beginning, I mean, they could have given every match a lot more time and had this go an hour and a half. And I think that would also have been better. So we will recap the big picture stuff. AJ starts, beats Psychosis in two minutes with a Styles Clash. Loki comes in. AJ beats him in about roughly two and a half minutes with a suplex face buster combo thing. And then he is immediately struck from behind by a Jerry Lynn and pinned with a cradle pile driver. That p- gives AJ his first loss and sets up Jerry Lynn as undefeated. Uh, Lynn Lynn stays in there, beats Psychosis, beats Loki. So now that we get AJ back in there, uh, the first first fall they do goes about five minutes. AJ wins the Styles Clash again. And the last fall went like a, close to ten minutes in the whole thing. And uh, that was awesome. Uh, they were selling exhaustion a lot. And and this went 26 minutes, and these guys were in there for probably 20 of them, <laughs> give or take. Cause everything well, was it's not only that, yeah. but, I mean, you know, you can go 20 minutes easily if you've got decent cardio and pace it right. But the thing with this match is there was no – I mean, there was – yeah, by the end, you know, when they were doing AJ and Jerry Lynn, especially the second one when they were selling exhaustion. The last two minutes, were, like they, they did the superplex it. and nobody got up, yeah. But, I mean, once, you know, Jerry Lynn got into the third match, so it was Jerry Lynn versus AJ, and, uh, you know, that match with Psychosis that he had, I mean, that was a fucking sprint. Then he got in there with Loki. That was a fucking sprint. Then he gets in there with AJ, and, you know, they they paced it a little bit better because they were going... Actually, not even that one. That one was a sprint, too, because that was also two minutes. Everything was a sprint until the last... Five minutes. Jerry or so. yeah. Lynn doing those three matches at a you know at a sprint for you know it, it was six straight minutes. I mean that guy had to be tired after that. Yeah. I mean they were going fast in this in this uh, the first half of this match. Yeah. So AJ wins. He is the inaugural X Division champion. AJ Styles, the future of our sport has arrived. Mike Tanay claims, and he is not wrong. No, he was very right about that. He one. was the future of the sport, and he has arrived. Uh, they recap the main event, all the finishes. Yeah. yeah, which I liked. I mean, they went back and, yeah. you know, you want the people to believe that you saw something historic. You saw something that you're never going to forget. And so, hey, we're going to go back and show you every single finish. And they went back and they showed you the the tournament in, in capsule form. And I thought that was great. Like, we don't have enough recaps nowadays because people are afraid to do recaps because they don't want people to turn the channel. But recaps are good. Recaps make things seem important. You know, the the biggest problem with TNA later was they didn't do any of this shit. It was always, you know, something happens into the back. Something happens into yeah, the back. Yeah. On this show, it was there was no to the back. It was like they gave everything time. They recapped important things for a long time. And, you know, part of that also was this was not on television. So, you know, you want to do Jeff Jarrett and Scott Hall first? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, no one's paying nine ninety nine and then turning the show off 15 minutes in. Mm. Not even us. <laughs> I mean, we watched the whole fucking show. Yes, we did. So, yeah. you know, they, they could do really whatever they want and not having to worry about people switching channels because they paid for the show. I mean, they spent a lot of time recapping stuff, and I liked it. And not to mention, they uh, before the recap, we had confetti falling from the ceiling and fireworks and big celebration for AJ. They went into the recap and came back and focused on the the fireworks and the, the confetti and AJ yet again. So they made it a big deal, and uh, and it should have been a big deal. So, you know, two of these shows. What do you think of this back. match, Sean? Sorry, two of those two of these shows back to back was a long time for that crowd in Arkansas. Oh, yeah. And during that gauntlet match, there was just people filing out, and like these guys are working their ass, like the hardest working match of of the of both shows. And people are just filing out at this time, which I felt really bad for these guys. But, you know, they put on one hell of a performance 21 years later. And even there was one moment that I was like, oh, my God, he's dead. And that was when AJ took that uh, bump on top of the ring post. Mm-hmm. Oh. He looked like he impaled himself. Oh, he gets yeah. worse, dude. Just oh. wait. But, <laughs> yeah, give it a couple of years. He's going to be doing all this crazy shit where we thought he was going to be in a wheelchair at 40. And here he is at 46 or whatever. And he's still... Uh, working main events and having great matches. You know, the, the, you, we mentioned the crowd. Uh, when they started that first AJ-Jerry Lynn match, that crowd was tired. 
And they, they I, don't, I don't want to say they lost the crowd, but uh, the crowd was definitely quiet for part of that uh, first match. But they were so great in that match and in the main event that by the time they got to the final near falls at the end of this gauntlet, this fucking place was going crazy. So, you know, all the credit in the world to Jerry Lynn. He was incredible. AJ was three years in. He was, you know, he's still kind of green, but fuck, you could see how great he was. And, uh, yeah, this was, uh, this was a great main event to uh, a, a rather unforgettable show otherwise, I would say. And that is including Cheeks. Just another night, another vision of love. You feel joy, you feel pain, playing beat, I'm playing DJ tonight. To Vinny, what are you wearing? I'm with the uh, shirt and vest combo, which was, was in fact a thing in the 90s. We got Craig here who appears to have, uh, he's Craig Corrosion. Yeah. The ultimate warrior. Da, 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 da. I'm wearing an Everclear t-shirt, one of my favorite bands from um, that decade. Granny actually has a special shirt on today. Granny, Granny is in her 90s. Yeah, would you like? Kitty. Yeah, she's in her 90s. That's how she's celebrating She's the dressed 90s. in the 1890s. I got my kitties on. You got your what? Kitties. Oh, your kitties? Yeah, that's not what you thought you said, Brian. Yeah. Bye. All right, get out of here, Granny. Gret 5, happy 90s. I wish you wouldn't do that. What? To remind me all the time. No, we're doing a 90s, like the 1990s. We're doing a 90s party. Oh, okay. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.